the Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see Hello friendos, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chelsea Nichols. I'm 27 years old and I live in Oxfordshire in the UK. This is the fourth video in my life story series, which you can find under the playlist section on my channel. This video is going to be a story time about how I lost my virginity at the age of 16, which is legal in the UK. I don't know about any other countries, but it is legal in the UK. If you're wondering why the lighting is awful it is because the sun is now going down i did originally film this video about half an hour to an hour ago but then the ball of my septum piercing came out and i was panicking about how i was going to get it back in i actually thought i was going to have to go to the piercing shop because i initially thought it had snapped but it didn't and if this video is shaky it's because my tripod will not stay on the dashboard so let's get down to the video i was 16 years old and this boy was 16 years old as well we were pretty much the same age he might have been a year older actually but we were pretty much the same age we were seeing each other so we were not boyfriend and girlfriend we were not official we were not facebook official but we were seeing each other we went to a town called uxbridge if anybody's in the UK, you might know of Uxbridge, but we went to the park area, we went to McDonald's, like it was just a cute little young people's hanging out thing. The timing's pretty fuzzy, honestly, but about one week or two weeks later, he came to the house that I was living in and we did the deed. I lost my virginity to him, but I didn't just lose my virginity. I lost my dignity because this is where things got interesting. When I say interesting, he ditched me. He jogged on. After we had done the deed and he went home, he did not speak to me again. I was texting him every day and he would not reply to me. Approximately one week after we did the deed and he was not talking to me, I went to a nightclub. It was like an under 18s night. I couldn't have fun because I was just trying to get hold of him and I was thinking about why he wasn't talking to me. I actually was blaming myself. I thought maybe I was ugly. Maybe I was ugly down there. Like, I don't know. My thoughts in my head were going at a million miles an hour and people watching this who know me know my head runs at a million miles an hour anyway. I called him at approximately 10 p.m. and he actually answered. I was absolutely buzzing. He answered. I said to him like, I've been texting you you've not been replying to me and his reply was no joke this is no joke his response was well I got what I wanted and that was it are you for real how disrespectful can that boy be like obviously he's a grown man now and I'm hoping hoping that he is not disrespectful to women anymore and that he does not do this before anybody says like it was consensual Yes, it was consensual, but did I know that it was nothing more than that? No, because he did not make it clear at the beginning that him seeing me was just because he wanted to use me to sleep with me and disappear. If he had made that clear from the beginning, maybe it wouldn't have happened. I actually thought that what we had or was going to have was actually real. I was absolutely distraught completely and utterly distraught it's a big thing to lose your virginity whether you're a guy or a girl to have lost it to somebody who just used me and played me just didn't respect me is just disgusting it has affected me into adult life because now i don't see people i don't see people in my opinion if I meet somebody on the first date and I don't like them, I don't see them again. If I meet somebody on the first date and I do like them, then why is it not just boyfriend and girlfriend? Like, why is it not an official relationship? Why do you need to see somebody several times to make that decision? I don't know. So with my current boyfriend, James, this is a funny story now. With my current boyfriend, James, we've been together for five years. We've been living together for like three of those years. On our first date, it got to the evening. I'm not going to lie. We were about to sleep together. I'm an adult. He's an adult. It was consensual. We clearly had that attraction to each other. It was going to happen. I don't care if you want to call me an SLAG or what. It was going to happen. It was not a one night stand from where I was 
standing anyway or laying should i say and it was not a one night stand from where he was position <laughs> But basically, he was on top of me and before anything actually happened, I literally stopped him and was like, what is this? I don't want to go home and then tomorrow morning you don't speak to me again. I want to know where I stand. So at this point, he had to decide while he's got a hard on, he's got to decide whether he wants me or not. And he was like, well, yeah, do, will you be my girlfriend? I was like, yes, I'll be your girlfriend. And then we continued doing what we were doing i know it sounds crazy and we always laugh about it like we always laugh about it now but at the time i just kept thinking about that first time that i had lost my virginity and i was thinking well what if this guy does what that guy did bearing in mind it it had been six seven years since then but losing my virginity at the age of 16 to somebody who used me played me had no respect for me literally ditched me like that feeling of rejection disappointment in myself that has carried on to adult life because now this is what i do after the first day i want to know where i stand and i am asking those questions where do i stand but we shouldn't have to do that we shouldn't have to do that should we um but yeah i just wanted to do this video sharing the story behind how I lost my virginity at the age of 16, what actually happened, because it didn't contain love and happiness and joy. For me, dating is one date, maybe two dates at a push, and then we should know what we want, not several until we figure it out. Um, and then in terms of sleeping with people, I might not want to sleep with somebody unless I know what's going to happen after that. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her.